What's going on everyone? Welcome to another set of online ranked games for Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And uh, yeah, I played, uh, let's see, I played uh, earlier today. Uh, well, first off, like, I, it's been like crazy. Uh, we're going to be leaving to Anime Expo uh, tomorrow. And I wanted to get this episode of Quest to Cosmic um, done the night before, which is right now. So it's been like crazy. I've had to go online. I wanted to do you know a good amount of games before I before I left and yeah. Um, so what you're seeing right now is the latest batch of games. Kind of did. I felt like I did really bad. Like it was it was just a mix of decent games and terrible games. Like just ugh, just ugliness. I don't know. You might see. I I picked some of the better ones. I tried to. <laughs> to exclude some of the ones where I just messed up way too much and a lot of it had to do with lag a lot of it had to do with uh, my controller acting really weird one time like I tried doing a uh, Magneto's shockwave and it just wouldn't give it to me I did it like I tried to do it like four times and like finally on the fifth time it finally came out but it was acting really weird I'm not sure what happened but so yeah um I don't know. I didn't do that bad, but just uh, it just feels like I did bad. But so, so yeah, um, it's been uh, kind of crazy trying to get ready for Anime Expo, and uh, I've been hearing like uh, the brackets for Evo also has you know kind of been released already. Some people were sending me um, sending me their their brackets list. Uh, I know Mario Brothers, who I play uh, every once in a while, is going to be one of them. They're twins, and one of them is going against, uh, I think, Filipino champ and Max. They're in the same bracket as Maximilian and Filipino champ. And the other one's in the same bracket as Chris G and someone else really good. I forget what he said, but so, yeah. And then I have another friend who's going. Um, he sent me his, his Tekken brackets, and I don't really know who's really good in Tekken, but he said... Uh, he mentioned that there was a couple of good players, so so yeah, lots of uh, lots of evil hype going around. Um, so yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, I've re finished recording pretty much all of the Chris uh, guide footage. Uh, between you know when I start editing though, I might come out with more, just because I've probably forgot about certain things and. Uh, I'm probably gonna record more, but for the most part, it's all it's already recorded. I just need to sit down and edit it all together, which I probably won't be able to get to for another week or two. So, well, probably like a week. I'll I'll get started within a week. So that should be coming out relatively soon. So yeah, um, we might as well go ahead and get into some of these games. Um, let's see what's going on in this game. Oh, I took out Felicia really quick, like. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of people really, really go with that dive kick, like, a lot. Like, you know, some of them have, like, you know, they have pretty good assist synergy with them, but for the most part, it's it's pretty much the same setup. So if you limit that dive kick, uh, you can take her up pretty easily. And all I really had to do was throw out two straight flame grenades. She kicked one of them, and I confirmed off of it. So, let's see, am I going to kill... I actually think I'm gonna kill him. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, he's he's gonna die. I'll, I'll always like my 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 mindset in Marvel is to spend as much meter to get you know important kills as possible. Like I mean, I want to save obviously save on meter when I can. But if I get the opportunity to kill like a Virgil or a Strider. I'm gonna spend that meter, and I'll always spend. I'll always try to spend meter before I spend X Factor. I really don't like using X Factor unless it's completely necessary. So most of my games, you'll see me uh, have X Factor at the end. But uh, yeah, this next game we got a. Uh, oh man, I remember this one. This one was rough. Akuma. I think Akuma is one of the hardest matchups for Chris, mainly because of that. That stupid. Spinning Tatsu kick, it just blows through every one of Chris's projectiles. It's ridiculous. Like, if I try to throw a flame grenade, usually it absorbs the initial explosion, 
and Tatsu is just enough off the ground where he can't get hit by the flames. So pretty much my best defense against most rushdown characters is useless against him. And um, he also like he also absorbs uh, magnum hits with his Tatsu, which sounds ridiculous, but it's true. He absorbs. Sometimes I can get jumping gunshots off of him, but I mean when he's coming at you through the air. It's tough to land one of those. But, uh, oh, almost got that. Stupid one little fireball getting in the way. But, yeah, he's, um, I'm just gonna spend this. And X Factor and get the kill. Hopefully, get a two, get get the two kills on him. So, I got uh, Virgil going against uh, Magneto. Uh, wow. Yeah, see that. Man. I swear, swords in this game are. The hitboxes for swords are ridiculously not right not right uh, I really like the way uh, hitboxes were done in Super Smash Brothers they're really really fair in Super Smash Brothers mainly because like you can gimp gimping is important for hit for hitboxes because when you have these characters who can hit like who can get hard knockdowns from like the teeniest tiniest part of their hitbox behind them just like where I got hit right there I don't know it doesn't seem all that that right uh, and most of the hitboxes in Mar in Super Smash Brothers have the capacity to gimp so like you kinda have to factor in gimps and you can confirm off gimps but you just it just takes a little bit of uh, extra thought and uh, it's another challenge in itself I think they really need gimping in, in Marvel that would make some of these sword hitboxes a little less crazy. But yeah, getting weird like hard knockdowns off of that off the back end of them is pretty stupid, especially with like Virgil. Virgil Virgil's the worst out of all of that. Ooh, am I gonna get this happy birthday? No. Dang it man. I probably should have just went for uh I probably should have just went for that uh that hyper just to kill I mean, just to kill Arthur at, at the very least. I could have done it pretty safely. So yeah, going against uh, Dormammu. Dormammu's tough against Morgan. Because um, when Dormammu teleports, he can... He just, like, really, really messes up Morgan's fireball pattern. And it's hard to, it's hard to you know, regain control if he keeps teleporting back, you know, left, right, left, right, left, right, mixing up your, your motions. There we go. Ended up getting the kill on him. And let's see what I'm gonna do against Wolf. Just a little bit of fireball rush down. I, I, that's something that I did a lot. I did accidental uh, shadow blades a lot, and some of them really, really messed me up. Like I lost games because of that. I normally don't do shadow blades like out of nowhere. I only do it uh, when I'm rushing down. But if you see me like at the complete opposite end of the screen and I do a shadow blade, that was probably an accident, so that's what happens there. Um yeah, I'm looking pretty good though. Arthur he has two bars. I have five though. Ugh, four now. That was a failed attempt. This is gonna hit. And that's gonna be it. X Factor, level three, done. Yeah, a lot of players like when they're when they're down, they really can't afford to be patient. So they'll they'll, they'll just throw out stuff, you know, left and right, and you can get you can get lucky hypers in. But we got a uh, Virgil here on point. Oh, this no. I probably should have. Man, I don't know. That would have been hard to get that happy birthday. I would have had to have done a perfectly timed forward jump into Magnum to OCG him and it just it would have been tough I I don't know if it's worth going for that because you can you can get punished pretty hard trying to go for that jumping Magnum and if you mess up it's tough Ugh, he's gonna try to lay me out yep. yeah anytime you get you know a player that tries to lay you out like that uh, you can raw tag and they normally can't do anything unless they have a really really clever setup uh, like a punishing setup, which most players don't. Uh, you can get raw tags in on them. I normally don't like to raw tag. Usually I'll let Chris die. But I kind of... 
I kind of need him against Hawkeye. Hawkeye, Hawkeye is kind of annoying for Morgan and Magneto, but Chris, Chris can do some pretty good stuff, especially against Hawkeye that doesn't have any meter. Oh man, Chris, Chris owns Hawkeyes without any meter. Oh man, I can't believe we got that grab. That's gonna be it for Morgan probably. Let's see. And then he's just gonna go into Hyper. Oh yeah, that's it. So okay, so I got my max my matchup against Hawkeye, but he has meter, so it's it's hard to yeah to see this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go into level three. That's gonna save Chris, and I'm just trying to yeah I'm trying to prevent Virgil from teleporting teleporting on me. That's why I was I was targeting the uh, level three on myself just in case he tried to teleport. He ended up hitting me with like a really lazy like a really you know one hit of his. Um, of his spinning sword move, I forget what it's called, but, but yeah, it ended up being, uh, I ended up saving Chris, but he ended up dying anyway, oh god, I wanted that happy birthday, but I'll take the Virgil death, really, really close game, oh uh, man, oh, am I gonna, get no, I, I did the wrong one. Oh man, see, this is, this is something that I, like, was really, really frustrating me, I would commit to, a move that normally works but because like it was laggy because it was online I was getting really really weird moves that should have worked it should, level one always uh, if you do level one during the uh, what's it called the, um, the freeze frame for uh, Hawkeye's gimlet it always counters him and it, but I, I think I would did the wrong hyper there and ended up not working, and I ended up getting punished and losing because of it. There was a lot of a lot of times where something like that would happen, where I'd mess up on something on the input, get punished, and then just pretty much die. It was happening happening a lot yesterday or today. Really, really annoying. But yeah, I lose a close game there. Ooh, that's a grab, and that should be it for Dante. I mean, see, I'm on a six-game win streak. I'm not doing that bad, but it's just, I mean, I don't know. Could have been a lot better, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, Wolverine's dead. Yeah, you can, you can set up, you, you, you can set up a lot of, like, pre, like, during your combos, you can set up these chip traps to make it so that uh, certain characters uh, just get hit by, by chip. Yeah. And um, it's sometimes worth it not going for the meter for getting a kill, and just going into a chip trap instead. It saves up, uh, saves up on bar. It's almost foolproof. There's there are certain things that they can do where they can get out of it, but a lot of them are really risky. But we got a uh, uh, Akuma going nuts right here, and that's gonna be it. Yeah, X Factor. And I don't even have to go into another bar. That's it. So, yeah, going into the next game, ah, Nova. I played some really good games against this one, really good Nova uh, friendlies. Really helps uh, playing a lot of games against Nova. Nova is, man, Nova, is, Nova could be a pain in the neck sometimes. I swear that that attack right there, it just goes through everything that I have on every single character that I have. Really, really annoying. And it is a really annoying air dash too. Yeah, that's it for Chris. Um, not really a mix-up. I just kind of get hit by that. Um, yeah, a lot of weird stuff happens. Like stuff that I normally don't get hit by. Ooh, watch out. Yeah, watch out for those min hidden missiles. And am I going to get a, get this combo? No. Yeah, drop that confirm. I don't know about that. He gave up a lot of red life to throw out that shield. And oh, ah, stupid hidden missiles. That would well, I, I get it anyway. Um, oh, something that I noticed when I was playing uh, earlier today, I didn't get hit by one single foot dive. Uh, not one. N not even in a combo. Not even in a neutral game. No foot dives. I really like how. Um, and most of the time, I had Morgan on point. By the way. 
which is kind of weird. Morgan has really good mobility to avoid foot dashing. She has a really tiny hitbox too. Oh my! I can't believe I I could have went into a level one. That was kind of weird. Should have I should have went into a level one. That would have finished off uh, Virgil. I I don't know. I might have I might have thought that he was gonna avoid it, cause um. Sometimes when Virgil does that, he gets behind you, and if he would have gotten behind me, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I, I could have, I could have finished off Virgil, and I probably would have been a really easy, uh, uh, a really easy one-on-one -on -one with Doom. A lot of weird stuff happened uh, today. Yeah, we got a uh, Super Scroll though. Kind of a derpy Super Scroll, kind of just going nuts with the, you know, with those. Those one touch abilities. He kind of had his. I don't know why he's X factored. I guess he wanted to save Scroll. I guess he's really important to the team. But yeah, just playing a little, you know, a little patient and just not getting hit by any of his uh, hard knockdowns or his ground bounces. And yeah, I'm pretty, pretty much, I'm pretty much ahead in this game. Um, yeah, just don't want to get hit by any of his flaming attacks. But yeah, I have the meter lead. I, he doesn't have X Factor, and now I think he's gonna lose scroll. Can't believe I went for it. <laughs> no. Great. I should have just went into meter. See, that's kind of the risk you run. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, nope. I, uh. I snapped back the wrong character. Okay. Um, jeez, man. Yeah, he kind of. Going into weird, just some weird uses of meter, just kind of blowing everything, just hoping to get, you know, a hit, and that's, I don't know, that's that's kind of a terrible uh, game plan. And what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna DHC. Yeah. Yep. Morgan, um, invincibility always beats out everything. So yeah, we got a neutral game going between, oh, now he's switching to Super Scroll, man, yeah, see, raw tagging a lot, just blowing meter like crazy, blew his X-Factor to save Scroll, I don't even think he really needed to, kind of like, man, so, yeah. just going nuts, it's, it's, it's hard, okay, this is gonna hit, no, I'm not gonna hit DHC, kind of a weird game, I'm not sure why, why I picked this one, but yeah, this is gonna hit him, oh, no, I think this is still gonna hit, <laughs> Yeah, Scroll doesn't have any. I don't think. I don't think any of Scroll's hypers, except for his level three. Boom! Interrupt. Just raw tagging like crazy. Oh, I had a happy birthday there. I should have had that. I was kind of scared though. Oh, this. Yeah, this is gonna happy birthday and this is gonna kill. The chips. Yes, two for one. And now Scroll's coming in and he has like no life. <laughs> I still have three characters. I still have my X Factor, and time's probably gonna run out unless he. There we go. Unless he teleports into my mind. Kind of a weird game. I don't know why I included that one. But um, but yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this set of games, and um, I'll catch you guys next time when I do some more. But until then, see you later.